Hey YouTube, React Back here. I'm Nathan. I'm Rose. I'm Nikki. And this is My Hero Academia episode 12, I believe. Number might be up. The episode is uh, Merry Christmas. Somebody in the comments said before, I think I'd already mentioned it, said that they're like rearranging things to get the wholesome stuff out of the way so right. it could get into the story. Right. So maybe we're having a Christmas episode? Yeah. Hmm. Honestly, I hope not. <laughs> but hey, maybe. Because, you know, I, I, I've gotten enough like that we, nice stuff. I want to get into the story. Yeah, we've had enough it. intermission, kind of. Yeah, at least as far as I'm concerned. But mm -hmm. I know some people, it's a beach episode, people like that stuff. I had a thought um, between last episode and now. Uh, what if Dobby, uh, Fireboy, is also working undercover like Hawks? What makes you say that? I don't know. I just, yeah, I just have the theory that he's Todoroki's brother. You know. <laughs> hey, hey, that was my. <laughs> but uh, to be honest, he seems genuinely enraged at Endeavor. Oh yeah, hundred so, percent. All of them are. All of them. All the bro the sons. All the brothers. Oh, oh yeah. No, no, I don't mean that. I mean he seems re genuinely angry at him, so I wouldn't be surprised if he actually is a villain. Mm. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe. All right. So thank you guys for being here, and guys, if you like the video, please remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more. And remember, if you want to see the next episode of other shows a week ahead, check out uh, Patreon in the description. Yeah. Waiting for nine days ago. Oh, it's called Nine Days Ago? Oh, no, it just said Nine Days Ago. Prologue to tragedy. Oh, we, we are getting into it. <laughs> Did people disappear? Or... Oh, is it the big mountain guy? Oh, right, mountain guy. I forgot about mountain guy. A giga, a giga <coughs> something. That seemed like it came from underground, though. Mm. Where's the flare? Who's can I? That's a lot of dead people. Oh, what? What's that? Uh, it kind of looks like the hair of a uh, one for all guy. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. It's got good hair. It's flowing in the wind. <laughs> Why? He's <laughs> like, we're friends. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah. It's only him. Yeah. This is going to zoom in again. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did. Yeah. Second politician. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are happy. Is that midnight? I think so. Oh, it's, oh, mountain, it's lady. mountain lady. Oh, it's midnight. both of them. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> Where did she turn around? I was say, is she wearing it? <laughs> Why did they choose these people to come to high school? Why is he strangling? <laughs> Remember he's been he's been uh oh, yeah, gulagged. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 He <laughs> <laughs> looks so confused. <laughs> you don't have to demonstrate. What? No, Tarumaki. You just kill everybody. <laughs> Heaven piercing eyes. Wall. He's gonna be perfect. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> That's what he asked him to show him. Flash fire fist. He's acknowledging him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine if he smiles? <laughs> concerned. Oh. <laughs> 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 Too much. Everybody's eyes. <laughs> is he gonna demonstrate? Is he is he gonna demonstrate? He's gonna try. He's scared. Wait, is he trying to do the new one? I think they, so. They probably asked him to demonstrate. Because yeah. that's what Todoroki did. Yeah. Nothing happens. Yeah. <laughs> All this epicness right now. <laughs> hey. Well, he got some. He's <laughs> like, yes! <laughs> Good job. yell at him because he's not supposed to do. <laughs> Why is he <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's inviting them. Yes. 
Yo, and if his. <laughs> Discussion. Discussion. All right. So, dude, they're hiding this up. Yeah. They're hyping it up like someone's gonna, somebody's going to get killed. Yeah. They're having this up. That's what I'm thinking right now, honestly. It's like, I mean, I'm, I'm not basing anything off, off of the comments with the getting the whole spot out of the way, but I expected something would happen if I saw someone just jump up at our window. <laughs> that would be terrifying. But, um, so I figured like something serious was going to happen. Mm-hmm. But with Todoroki doing that over talk and all that, it's like... You mean Deku? Deku. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What did I say? Todoroki. Yeah, Midoriya. With Midoriya doing that ominous um, foreshadowing. The yeah. narration, yeah. To be fair, he's done it before. When, like, the League of Villains attacked in season one. Nobody died or anything. But, and, uh, what's the name? Aries head got pretty messed up. Mm-hmm. But, do you think somebody could get killed? Because I feel like... I feel like they could. They guess, could, but who? I, I feel like it can't... I feel like the chances of it being one of the... Big three? The, no, not the big three. Class A. One of Class A or one of the, the main characters he's set mm-hmm. is very low because of the type of show and the, the audience that they're trying to reach. I don't, I don't actually see them killing off one of those. But they could kill off someone that is still somewhat important. It, just hearing hearing how the voice actors all chant everything together, I'm like, ah, they're not going to kill one of these kids. It could <laughs> turn out that one of them do are actually a mole for the League of Villains. Yeah, that's, yeah. That was, that's something I wrote down. If there is a spy, like he brought up, mm-hmm. who would it be? They they said that um, they cleared the students. They said that. That'll mean nothing. So I was like, hmm, why did you tell us that? Was it just to tell us that there was a mole, or was it to tell us that they're not searching for it in Class A anymore? Or yeah. it's one of the teachers. Yeah. Or Class B or something, yeah. But it, has anyone ever stood out to you guys? Uh, class A, I'm Class B teachers? Anybody ever stand out as... Teachers? Mm. Because they're... This isn't the first time that they brought up the possibility of a mole. Remember season one? Yeah. yeah. Not season one, but not season last one. season. But when they got past the security gate and all that, I think they cleared that up. But they brought it up again, which mm-hmm. makes me think someone is either someone or there's a quirk that lets them get in and nobody understands it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I just figured somebody might have an idea. What do you guys? Oh yeah, here? it was season one. Um yeah, so we started with seeing them get media coverage, coverage, mm-hmm. and Bakugo getting completely cut out of the interview. <laughs> that was funny. And Bakugo is like he was like when he they were laughing about it, he was like don't exclude me or include me in this yeah. include, my answers include my answers or yeah. something like that I'm like Bakugo if you cared to be included you, we would have had a better attitude but well, no well that's the thing I think he genuinely thought he was giving good answers I don't think he realizes how awful a- he comes across as. yes he yeah. really doesn't mm. because he seemed actually upset like why did they include me I, I, I answered <laughs> he's <laughs> like I had wonderful answers <laughs> Yeah, and the thing is, even thinking when he was doing the flashback about like where he would do his work study, the flashback to Best getting his hair done by Jean, mm-hmm. um, genist, genist, um, he was he wasn't like shut up, I'm not answering you. He was answering his questions yeah. and talking to him. He's just very aggressive. loud and aggressive about it. Mm-hmm. So it, that could just he has been like this for so long that mm-hmm. it's just become his modus operandi, and he yeah. doesn't know anything different anymore. Yeah, his parents are pretty like that too. Well, his mom. Well, his mother. Well, his, mom, his, mom, his, mom, his mother. His mother. Yeah, his mother is very aggressive. Not quite as aggressive as he is, but quite aggressive. Yeah, his she, father's pretty mellow. What do you think happened to Genus? He when, went missing. I remember he got really messed up yeah, during the all one fight. for all one for all fight. Yeah. yeah, and he was hospitalized, and then apparently he went missing. He went yeah. missing. Is that what they said? Yeah, yeah that's it said what missing it said. Out of paper. That's oh. what I, I he was looking. That's at. why he said I hadn't decided yet. Yeah. So, hmm. the thing is, All for One specifically said, I'm not going to take your quirk when he was talking to Genus mm-hmm. because it wouldn't be a good fit for Ash Haking guy. The guy who grabs you and you crumble. Hmm. The prodigy. He specifically didn't want his powers. So that makes me think that it wasn't All for One. Because mm. why would he go out of his way to kidnap this guy? He said, you're, you're yeah, don't need shoots your... him and says, he tried to kill him. Right. Mm. Well, he didn't kidnap him. He was a part of the breaching. Thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying he kidnapped him. Mm. I, I, I'm saying he saw him. He tied him up and was like, oh, "What should I do with you? You're useless." Tries to kill him. Drops him to the side. So it's not like, 
oh, I gotta keep an eye on you. I want your no, power. No, yeah. Mm-hmm. So what, what? Yeah. So why has he disappeared? Who is behind mm-hmm. it? Also, I wrote on and banned when I saw Midnight and <laughs> oh, not Lady oh Finn. yeah, <laughs> banned, uh, banned Hammer. <laughs> Yeah. Top ten shows that got banned for going too far. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, but I'm like, bruh. I'm like, you're in a high school. Could you maybe not? And last thing I've written, wasn't the guy in the very beginning of the show? Wasn't that the disintegrate guy? No, his hair was more oh. blue. Um, oh gosh, I don't remember. He looked, I, a, he lot looked like a lot like Lots him. Hands, hands guy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hands guy. Hands, it looks was, like him. That's his, what we're saying. His hair is too white. His hair is too white. Uh, Hans guy hair, hair is more blue. blue. Okay. Uh, I, I, I just because wanted to his, point his out. Because his eyes, the way his, his eyes were shut and the the blood was leaking down his face just mm-hmm. made it look like he could have been with a thing over his face. I can't mm-hmm. remember what he looks like when he takes it off. And his facial structure. It just without the hands, I could see him looking like that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I just yeah. want to point out because I, I really thought that's the only person that he reminded me of that yeah. it could have been. And he's MIA right now. Because they don't know where he is, yeah. Because he all, uh, well, I guess they're kind of regrouping after the whole overhaul incident. Yeah, that's the last place we saw him is when well, he took he took the thing from overhaul. Yeah, they're, I think they're just kind of laying low and planting seeds everywhere because they they never really wanted to work with overhaul. Kind of as soon as he his plan failed, they're like, all right, mess him up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. In fact, they were the ones who they tried the to make work. it make it fail. Yeah. Yeah. And um, oh, during the interview part everybody did surprisingly well yeah i i didn't expect them to do as well as they did <laughs> yeah i thought they were gonna like have some comic ones but yeah. of course they they made fun of deku and bakugo yeah bakugo I, I mean i didn't expect any any better from bakugo but yeah uh i expected better from deku but then he started going off into his mutterings <laughs> spree yeah. once he got excited about all might it's like well He's let me tell you yeah <laughs> he is a nerd and then he did like the tiny whisper it yes. came out though it yes. happens that's what i was gonna say it, it, it's it's good news he yeah. can unlock yeah. it but he just has to learn how to unlock it more mm-hmm. um took and, a lot out of him mm-hmm. yeah yeah he, he was, was like, like reading hard. yeah, yeah. Uh, and they were like, don't be so excited about that. It was lame. Yeah, was Bakugo, yeah. Bakugo got second-hand embarrassment for yeah. him. Yeah. The, the wisp came out of his glove, like one of like, the vents on his gloves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It but came I think because it came out of his, before. It came out of his arm when it was, remember? It was like mm-hmm. this part of his, was breaking away his clothes. Yeah. I'm just surprised yeah. it's a path. Was, yeah, mm-hmm. it's a weird path. Yeah. Why was that already there, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, Maybe it's because the gloves have like an opening in the little book. Part. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Who knows? But I really appreciate the the metaphors because that's one thing I really liked about Haikyuu. Um, they love to do the metaphors of like the wall or the pat the the team that's in your way to go towards the the shrine or whatever. I can't remember what that scene was. Yeah. Um, that last one. What was um, it here? The the metaphor of the bolted door. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where the power is hidden behind there. He mm-hmm. locked it away for safety, mm-hmm. and now he can kind of. And get it open just a little bit. Get yeah. a little bit out. He'd undid the bolts, but not the chain. So yeah, it came, so like, open just like... <laughs> yeah. yeah. So if they went back to that metaphor again, I imagine it would be like <laughs> breaking open when he finally does use it full full force. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Anything else? How big do you think his powers would be if he ends up using... If he if he can use it... Completely? Uh, com- yeah. Because I'm thinking he could like wrap up a building. Yeah, I think so. If, if what we saw was just... With his twenty percent of one for all, yeah, um, that much radius that it had and destruction, destructive power, I definitely imagine it could lift up a building. That if wasn't twenty was percent. That was he's saying he, it needs at least twenty percent. That was after. No, no, no. I'm saying his control of one for all is twenty percent. So no, I figured it, that that it was coming out at that rate. No, I think it was just exploding out Oof. because I'm sorry, I keep oh. swinging that around. I think he it was it just exploded out of him. Um, but I know, he, I know. They didn't really specify the power level. I was just assuming that because that was his power level. But it's not. He he can't use up to twenty percent yet. Occasionally, he uses yeah. more than twenty percent. No, not he can't use black with up to twenty percent. Is that what you're saying? No, his regular powers. He, I thought he got up to twenty percent. Like did he? yeah, that I, was his limit. He I, was able to bring it like, like not consistently, yeah. but that was his. I think he can top out. At he 20% can top out at twenty percent for, for like a punch. Yeah. Okay. 
But I think he still hovers at like maintains eight percent. Eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, well, no, no, no. He brought it More? down to eight brought to fight to Shinzo. Eight. Remember, because okay. he didn't mm-hmm. want to. Um, I, I forget why he said, but he said he, he had to bring his power down to eight percent just in case it would explode out of him again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what he did in the fight. So that means he he maintains higher than that. Okay. Mm-hmm. I would say. Hmm. And we also saw that the faculty know that there's a reason to be on guard. Yeah. For they read into the whole commission with Deca City. Yeah. So we have no information whatsoever on that. Mm. Except one guy did that. Mm-hmm. They think the League of Villains that was behind it. Maybe they were. Mm-hmm. But one guy was capable of leveling that city. Yeah. And they said because it, the, it was a low population, not many died. So it wasn't many ca- casualties. Yeah, we all know they're seen up for TV. Yeah. A lot of people got killed. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people died. <laughs> that looked like a lot of people died. Yeah. And you know what? Given that they show the destructive power there, I wouldn't be surprised if like he attacks the school or something. Mm. Mm. Because, I mean, no matter how good of a hero you are, if you're in a building and the building collapses... Yeah, you're in trouble. Most, yeah. Almost um, everybody in Class A would be dead. Yeah. Except maybe Deku who punches uh, 100% through. 100%. And Red Riot. Red Riot. He could be hard and fine. Quickly. Injury might be able to jump out of there, like mm. as it falls. Todoroki might quick thinking and Gravity. use his eyes. Uh, Todoroki could, yeah, he might be able to save him. But, but yeah, I'm just saying that power seems extremely dangerous. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, anything else? I don't have anything else. Uh, and they had a Christmas party. Yeah. And Deku's like, don't put it on me. <laughs> yeah, you mean, you mean Bakugo? Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. That was funny. That was a nice little. And uh, again. Like the commenter said, they're getting the nice cities out of the way. So I, I thought we were like you were saying we were jumping right into it. That's so they kind of gave us half, half and half. Half and half. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they just kind of gave us a taste that this is this is what's coming. But mm-hmm. let's enjoy our time a little mm-hmm. longer. So I think this is gonna be back to par for the course. Like they go yeah. to the school here, and mm-hmm. then but we're gonna be hovering around the issues. Mm-hmm. Yeah, half mm-hmm. was learning, half was good times. Mm-hmm. Oh, with the, and lear- then the mm-hmm. sorry, with the learning. Uh, they're like, okay, make, maybe Bakugo should just stay out of the limelight. Yeah. Like Aizawa. Apparently, Aizawa is out of the limelight. I didn't even realize. I mean, I guess yeah. he did mention before that he hates interviews. So he's somehow been able to escape it for so long. Yeah, he takes, I think they mentioned he takes more of a uh, espionage role mm-hmm. in things. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, I actually think Bakugo would really be, would really not like that because I get the feeling that Bakugo wants he wants to be the number one hero right yeah. so he needs to he be needs on the show mm-hmm. yeah yeah mm-hmm. especially because I mean remember what he said to um, All for One back in season one when he was when he put his hand on his shoulder he's like no I don't want you to mentor me I don't want you to help me I'll take your spot by myself mm-hmm. he doesn't want anybody to put him there mm-hmm. yeah so if he wants to do that, he has to be known. Nobody's yeah. going to say, who's the number one hero? That guy nobody's ever heard about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and he has an explosive personality, so he's like, know my name! Yeah. I, I think Bakugo could do a good interview if he is like in a very serious situation. So I think about when he had to deal with those kids. Remember that, that episode? When it was him, Todoroki, mm-hmm. and the other the ones that didn't get the provisional license, they had to deal with these really rude nasty kids Mm -hmm. and they finally got them to realize or utilize all their powers together or something to make Mm -hmm. this cool scape thing that Todoroki with his eyes whatever and Bakugo said something to the ringleader yeah that really changed the ringleader's mind because at first he wasn't like joining in Mm -hmm. but he was really serious and heartfelt whatever Mm -hmm. he said I can't remember what it is now but he said if you always look up look down at people around you you'll never see your own faults right so I'm like yeah yeah and that was sincere and Mm -hmm. he wasn't screaming and being abrasive about it Mm -hmm. so I feel like when it comes down to it I think that the problem with Bakugo is it is an interview it's so formal and you have to put something on and Bakugo doesn't put on Mm -hmm. yeah he is what he he embraces what he is right so if, if they were to capture his his thoughts like on the spur of the moment, like in the right after a fight, and he's, I don't know, it's, they, he, it's possible. It's there's a chance of it, but it's 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 not easy. It's just that it, the questions she was asking was like, like Gossip Girl yeah. Mm. questions. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, it's like built for Todoroki mm-hmm. kind of stuff. Tabloid stuff. Tabloid yeah, stuff. They, yeah, they want to they want to make a hit out of the next new hot thing, the mm-hmm. new boy band kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Who's this? Todoroki, the one who doesn't talk much, has a very obvious scar, yeah. and has really cool poetic names for his buildies. Yeah. You go with Todoroki. <laughs> yeah. Versus yeah. guy who's always scowling at you. Yeah. And really doesn't want to be friends with the other <laughs> guy, I guess. Oh, and lastly, 
the invitation. Yeah. The what? The invitation. Oh, yes. To see Endeavor. And we, we got a glimpse of the preview. But obviously they're going together, which is going to be so cool. I'm so excited. Um, Bakugo, Todoroki, and Deku, the three big hitters. Yeah. Powerhouses. <laughs> Under one roof. Yeah. I'm actually quite excited for that. Yeah, me too. I, did, I didn't... I, I did not expect that to happen. But no, I, I, I couldn't yeah. think. Like I was, I was trying to wrap my brain. Like where could Deku go that could be useful? Yeah, we've not. It would have to be someone brand new. He, and then he crossed my mind for like a second, and I'm like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> So so cool. like, that'll come but only if I can bring my friends sure. right yeah <laughs> like I knew as soon as he it was inviting he was inviting them I'm like there's no way Endeavor's gonna say no yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and look at him he's all dressed up he's not yes. in his angry outfit all the time anymore yeah. yes. it looks like it's under his 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 jacket though Maybe. it's kind of bulky <laughs> kind of bulky yeah <laughs> the guy is huge. the guy is bulky yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's everything yeah, yeah. alright well, thank you guys for being here. Had a lot of fun with this one. It looks like we're going to get into the swing of things next episode. So guys, if you like your time here, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, if you want to check out our Patreon, it is in the description if you just want to support us or if you want to see the episodes of the other shows a week ahead. Catch guys in the next one. React back. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, bye. Thank you very much to our patrons. Damien, Dutrolfin, Taylor Mitchell, Kay, and John.